Good morning everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Cold Brew by Lumos. Yes, Lumos. I love Lumos puzzles and I love Lumos guest solves. But this is another puzzle in the Sudoku U series because Lumos is a student of full deck and missing a few cards from their puzzles and paradoxes class. So, of course, it's wonderful to have an, a, another puzzle in the series. Um, there'll be two more coming after this one. Um, and uh, I've been told some of them are going to be quite tricky. So I don't know if it's this one. Um, we'll find out together. So, um, yes, those of you who don't know Lumos, Lumos has done some guest solving on my channel before. Um, the, the highlight of which, of course, is the High Barbie puzzle. But she's done quite a few other amazing solves as well. So um, you, you, I think you can just search for Lumos um, in my, if you go to my channel homepage and search for Lumos, you'll find a whole bunch of Lumos solves. Um, so that should work. So let's have a look at Cold Brew by Lumos. Before I get to the puzzle though, happy birthday full deck. This puzzle should be coming out on your birthday. So um, yeah, perfect timing for a Sudoku U puzzle and perfect timing for a cold brew. So yes, Happy birthday, full deck. I hope you have a wonderful day. So let's have a look at the puzzle, shall we? So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Cell separated by a black dot have a one to two ratio, um, and not all dots are necessarily given. So these dots will be in a ratio of one to two, or one will be double the other. Same here, same here, same here. Um, but it would be perfectly fine for these two to be in a one to two ratio relationship. It wouldn't break the rules if they were. On green German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So the difference between these two cells will be at, uh, digits will be at least five. Same with those two and same with those two, same with those two. The difference between any two adjacent cells on a line will be at least five. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. Uh, same is true for all the thermos. And digits in quadruple circles must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So we know there must be a two and a four in here. There must be a three, a five, and a seven in here. That's what we know. Uh, there are all the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's a fair bit that I can see straight away, such as using the quadruple clue. There must be a two in one of those four cells, but the two here takes it out of there, so there's a two in here. There must be a four in one of those four cells. The four can't be in those because of that one, so there must be a four in here. This can't be the four, because four, three, two, one, even ignoring the black dots, that just doesn't work. So this is a four. This, therefore, has to be in a one to two relationship with a four, but it can't be a two, so it must be an eight, because it either goes two, four, or four, eight. So half of four is two, but it can't be, so it has to be double four which is eight um so that's a thing this now can't contain two four or eight so it can't be one two it can't be two four it can't be four eight so it must be three six whoops because any other possible digits does not work because the next um from what you've got one two you've got two four you've got three six you've got four eight after that you hit five ten and you start hitting problems with a normal sudoku grid um Two is in one of these two for the same reason. Two must be around here, but it can't be here. Oh, this is a two, three pair. Whoops, not three, six. This is a two, three pair because three has to be around here and three can't be there. So one is in one of those two. That means this is a low digit. Now, okay, so I know this is a two, but the reason for that is on a German whisper line, first of all, you can never put a five on a German whisper line because of the five difference. Five lower than five is zero or less. Five higher than five is 10 or higher. Once you have a low digit like this on a German whisper line, any five different digit because um, that stays within the bounds of one to nine must be, you must leapfrog the five. You add five to any digit that is low and you will jump over the five and hit a high digit between six and nine. If you start high, you can't go up, you must go down. So you're subtracting five and then you'll end up any digit, basically you'll end up in low. So you'll always leapfrog between high, low, high, low. So this must be low. This must be high. This must be low because they will always alternate. And this must be low. If this is three, this would be six 
because it's the only thing in a one to two relationship with three. But we know because high, low, high, low, this must be a low digit. So if this is three, this is six, which isn't low. So this has to be the two, this has to be the three. Two can go with one or four, but the one is up here. So this is the four. Four on a German whisper line only has one partner. The only digit between one and nine that is five away from four is nine. So both of those become nine. This is now a low digit. So it's one, two, or four. It can't be three. Not sure. This is a low digit. Actually, that's going to have an impact. Normally you color these. These are all low digits, one, two, three, or four. Now this could potentially be four. This can't be four, because if this is four, both of those would have to be nine. And that doesn't work because there's two nines in the box. This potentially could be, this potentially could be that, that can't be four because this would have to be nine and that doesn't work. So this is not four. This is one, two, or three. It's not two because it's Caesar two. This is not four because it's Caesar four. Oh, so it sees a four up there as well. This is not three because three is around here. So this is a one or a two. Okay, this thermo is almost certainly doing a lot because any black dot, this is actually important. Any black dot must contain a low digit and an even digit. So I know this digit here must be low. And that's going to have an impact because, and the reason for that is one doubles to two, two doubles to four, three doubles to six, four doubles to eight, five doubles to 10. So this digit has to be low, but both of these have to be low. So this is either three or four, because if it was two, um, I mean, if it was five, this would be 10 and that wouldn't work. If it's two, these would both have to be one. So this is either three, six, because this has to be higher or four, eight. Now, this could be, this can't be three. This has to be one, two, because this has to be lower than, so basically just using normal thermo rules, ignoring the dot, this has to be lower than four. So this is a maximum of three. But if this is a three, this would be a six. Uh, it has to be a lower, and the only thing in a one to two relationship with three that's lower is one and a half, and I can't put one and a half in. So this has to be a two, this has to be the one, which means this is a three because this can't be one or two, and the only thing that is five, the only two digits that are five away from three between one to nine are eight and nine, but because of the quadruple, we know that's the nine and that's the eight. Five, of course, has always been down here because I could never put five on a German whisper line. So this is either 3, 6, or 4, 8. If this is 4, 8, this is 9. If this is 3, 6, this is still 7 or 9. This is 7 or 9 either way. Oh, the 2 looks up, taking 2 out of there. This becomes the 2. Oh, the 3 looks up, making that the 4, which makes that 8, which makes that 9. So that is forced. This now can't have 2 or 4 on it. So this is forced, because it can't be 1, 2 not available, can't be two, four, not available, can't be four, eight, not available. So this is three and six in that order because it has to rise. This is seven, eight or nine and it sees eight and nine. So that becomes a seven. So far, this is amazingly fun. Five, of course, has to be in one of those two because the given five takes five out of those. The three here means three is in one of those two because three has to be around the quadruple, but it can't be in those cells. Oh, the seven is the same. This is the three, seven pair. Three, seven can't go in any of those. So this is a three, seven pair. And I can't put a seven there because of the alternating polarity. So this is the three. This is the seven. The only thing that can go next to three on a German whisper line is eight or nine. But there's a nine here. So this becomes the eight. Again, I think I mentioned this yesterday. The reason I'm putting in pairs, even though I could just say, well, that makes this an eight, is I'm trying to show the full thought process for people who may not follow at full speed. Um, the thing missing from this row is a one. So now I've got the one, two, and the three. Um, one and two are far enough away from the eight, so that's all fine. But I do know there's a five up here. Now this is a triple. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got a seven and I need an eight. There's no eight here. So eight is down here, which is, oh no, that eight is looking down here. So this is the eight. So these are five and six. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Well, nine is not lower than eight. So there's no nine there. Oh, there's no seven in either of those because of that. So this is a one nine pair. This becomes the seven. Oh, and this nine looks like making this the one and this the nine. 
Oh, the five here looks across, making that the six and that the five. And now this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is two, four, five, but I know the five must be around the quadruple. The two, four, five triple means this is one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a six, nine pair. I could have got that from the row as well, but I didn't. Okay, so I haven't even looked at these this run of dots yet. This can't be a four, or can it? Actually, it could. <laughs> Actually, there's a few options here. Now, if this is one, this is two. If this is two, this is... Wow, actually, there's a few options down here. Maybe I want to look at this being a high digit. It's six, seven, or eight, because it can't be nine. I know seven is in one of those three. Maybe I want to look at this triple, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, and eight to go into those. Well, that can't be the five, so that's a seven or an eight. That can't be a seven. Maybe I want to look at this triple. One, I've got two, three, four. I don't have a five. I've got a six. I don't have a seven, but I do have an eight, nine. So these are one, five, and seven. There's no seven there. There's no five or seven there. That's the one, which makes that the five, which makes that the seven. That means there's no five there. This is a two, four pair. That becomes the five. That does put a little bit of a limitation on this. This can't be two, four. And it can't be three, six because of the three, six here. I should have seen that earlier. So if this is a three, this would be a six and that would break that cell. So there's no three here. So this could be one, two. It could be two, one, but it can't be two, four. It can't be four, two, but it could be four, eight. So this is only, this can't be four because if this is four, this would have to be two and that would break that cell. So this is only one, two or eight. If this is one, this is two. If this is two, this is four, because it can't go to one. And if this is eight, this goes to four. So this is only two or four. That's interesting. Right. This can't be a four. If this is a four, that would have to be a nine, and it can't be. This is not a four. So this can't be an eight. This is a one, two pair, looking up, making that the four and that the two. This one, two pair. If this is a one, this is a two. If this is a two, this is a four. That still all works, I think. And that still works for any combination here as well. Hmm. Maybe that's put pressure here. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no seven there. No, that doesn't seem to be it. I mean, this is from one... Oh, okay. This is from one, two, four. Because one, two, four means I can't put three, six here. So it's from one, two, four, eight, and there's no eight. So this is from one, two, four, which means there is a two on it. So now, two can't go in there because this is a one, two pair. Two can't go in here because two is on this dot. Two has to go in here, which means that's the two, which means that's the four, which means that's the two, which means that's the one, which means that's not the two, that is the two. The four here makes this the one. It was... Beautiful and elegant, and I missed it for too long. The 8 here takes the 8 out of here. It actually makes that the 7, which makes that the 5 and that the 6. Very cool. Takes 6 out of the top of that, which means this is the 5, this is the 7, this is the 8, and that was just using pencil marks. 1, 2, I don't have 3, 4, 5, I don't have 6. So this is a 3, 6 pair. To date, unresolved. Um, there's no 7 here anymore. Six in this box is in one of those two. 
why did I highlight that cell? I meant to highlight that one. One of those two. Four is in one of those two. Mm. Five is in one of those two. Hang on, one, two. This is a four, five, six triple because I can't put four, five, six in here. So this is a four, five, six triple. That can't be five. That can't be four. And that can't be six. So, but that was a four, five, six triple, which means one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight. And the seven looks down, making that the eight and that the seven, which means these are known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, and nine. And the three looks down, making that the nine and that the three. I've got to put a seven in one of those two because I've got to put seven in this row and that seven means it's not there. So that's a seven and this is from four, five, six without being a five. <laughs> this is still not resolved or if it is, I'm not seeing it because the two ones mean this could be six. Ah, here we go. Where is eight in this column? Can't put eight in any of those because that's a three, six. The eight knocks eight out of there. These are not eights. So this has to be the eight. So these digits, one, two, three, four, five, and six, because I've got seven, eight, nine. There's no four there. Oh, there's no five there. This is a four, six pair. This is the five. Four, six looks up making this the nine and this the six, which looks up making this the three and this the six. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine. This is a triple, one, two, actually, let's not do that. Let's just turn around and say, where does two go in this box with the two not there? So this is the two, and this is now a one, eight pair, and the eight here makes this the one and this the eight. One is in one of those, but the one can't go there or there because of the pointing up ones. That's a one. This row is missing three, five, and six. So three, five, six go in, and then I can look up with that three and that six and make that the five. So this is a three or a six. Nope. But the five looks down, making that the four, which makes that the six and that the five. And now this six looks up, making that the three, which makes that the six and that the three. This six now looks across, making that the four and that the six. Now I've just got to finish off one box. One, two, three. I need to put in a four. The two fours mean it's there. Five, I need to put in a six. That can't be the six. So that's the six, seven, eight. And I stick a nine in the corner. And that is the solution to cold brew by Lumos. Um, very nice little puzzle. Uses all of the constraints in a nice way. Um, lots of pressure put on things like the thermos. Um, these quadruples, very forced from the beginning. Good deductions. Um, the given digits, nicely placed to give a lot of stuff. Good little coffee break puzzle. Obviously, this isn't the one I was warned about. So we will see when that comes in. Um, thank you very much, Lumos. And uh, thank you very much, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards for Everything. And I hope Full Deck has a wonderful birthday. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.